What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As we know, Tiffany Henyard is the Thornton Township supervisor, as well as the mayor of Dalton. She became the mayor of Dalton first, which she was elected. The Thornton Township supervisor someone passed away she was nominated for that at the last minute now the reason why she was nominated to become the thornton township supervisor and thornton township is like 17 cities and towns the reason was because they wanted someone young they wanted somebody as a minority and they wanted a female what better way to achieve those things than to bring somebody like a Tiffany Henyard into play. It's, you know, if you're a Democrat and you're, you know, you want to be liberal, you want to have diversity, it's a good move. And you know what? I like what Mr. Chris Gonzalez was trying to do because we always talk about, you know, people don't like blacks and all this stuff. Here's a guy that could have recommended somebody from his community and he did not. He recommended somebody from our community. It turned out to be a great mistake, but this is what he did. With that being the case, um, Tiffany Henyard has now taken shots at Frank Zuccarelli's administration. Now, who is Mr. Zuccarelli? Let me go ahead and play a clip and find out who he is so that the audience can know. So let's, uh, let's bring it back in time. We're talking about mm -hmm. Tuesday's meeting. Let's bring it all the way back to the beginning of 2022. That is when former supervisor Frank Zuccarelli passes away and a, a void of power exists now at the top of Thornton Township. Um, that results in a series of meetings um, among trustees, <coughs> excuse me, where you are tasked with appointing a new supervisor. And if that doesn't happen by a certain time, that's going to go to a town hall where then uh, the public is going to be Correct. appointing the new supervisor. Um, so if I recall, some of those meetings were a little bit contentious among trustees as mm -hmm. far as I remember you suggesting <clears throat> a number of names that were not seconded or not voted through. Mm, Some correct. other trustees were suggesting names that, that were not voted through. So it comes all the way down to 12 minutes before midnight on the yes. legal deadline. This is, this is in March of 2022 now. And it was you who 12 minutes before midnight said, I nominate Tiffany Henyard. Mm -hmm. And that was the first name that was actually voted for by the rest mm -hmm. of the trustees. So then just a handful of minutes before midnight, Tiffany Henyard is sworn in as the supervisor of Thornton Township. Put us in Chris Gonzalez's <laughs> mind, 12 minutes before midnight. What was your thinking in nominating her after this long process? I mean, just as a whole, um, I just felt that um, I was hoping we could get somebody that was a little bit younger hmm. for the role. Um, I felt it was time that we you know, may possibly, and I mean, I wasn't like honed in on that, but you know, that, um, you know, a woman, you know, I just thought mm -hmm. that that would be somebody, you know, that was a little bit younger, a woman. Um, so that's kind of where I was. Um, i be honest, I really didn't know at that time a whole lot of the, you know, that there was already some controversy and things like that a little bit that was going in on in Dalton, Dalton you know, yeah. say. Sure. So I didn't really know about that. And that was also something that, I mean, obviously there, you know, just on the surface, there was a little bit of experience there. Mr. Frank Zuccarelli, as you heard that story, was the former township, Thornton Township supervisor who happened to pass away, okay? He passed away and his administration was prior to Tiffany Hingers, right? Now, Tiffany Hingers is going to make some allegations against his administration. Let's play the clip and we're gonna find out. I remember I told everybody when I first became supervisor here that the previous administration and some of them sitting in the crowd was still. Did they wanna write that story? No, they did not. Because white is right. Y'all wanted to keep that on hush, but nobody would say nothing, but I did. But nobody in the media would say anything. And I hope you're recording this uh, last adjournment, put it in your paper because I'm still telling that story. So now that I created a um, Tiffany on the Move podcast to tell my story, since don't nobody want to pick it up, and I'm being attacked by the media left or right, I am telling y'all my story. And truth will be heard on the podcast because no one wants the truth to come out of what they did before me. 
But while I took office, when I took office, we done a great job. We have got allocated over $15 million, but nobody wrote about that, right? Nobody else went and got that more, more money than me in the board here. We got $1 million to help the at-risk youth. We put them all back to work. We also gave out 80 scholarships up to $2,500. People have graduated and got jobs and will be working here at the township when they get out of school. But no one's telling you all the good things we do. Everybody want to make it like we're bad when they were bad. They were the one that had it before me and did nothing with it. Why was the number so low? Why wasn't they feeding people in the food pantry, but they were spending the money out of the food pantry, but wasn't feeding the people, right? But these are all the facts and things that I'm going to put out there just to lay the groundwork so people can know what to look for. Do not follow people because they're so negative, because misery need come. That's what they need. So don't hang with people that ain't actually growing the community. Go talk to people that want to uplift the black and brown communities, the ones that's neglected. So according to Tiffany Henry, let her tell it, Mr. Zuccarelli's administration, they were stealing, okay? Um, they were doing X, Y, and Z, they hating on her. Now this is interesting, right? Cause she's talking about these Thornton Township trustees, which are completely different than the trustees in Dalton. Cause I don't even need to play no clips. I'm sure most of you have seen enough clips of her insulting these people. They don't do no work. They're dumb. They're lazy. You know, they flew here. She grew here. All right. She's saying the same thing about Thornton Township, which don't have any of the Dalton trustees in office. And when I'm talking about the Dalton people, I'm talking about a uh, Kiana Belcher, which we all know him by now. All right. Uh, the ex trustee who still plays a vital role in the city of uh, the good brother, Edward Steve. Okay. I'm gonna be having him on, on our show pretty soon. The honorable brother, Jason house, Brittany Norwood, sister, Tammy Brown, the, they're not over there from what my understanding. None of them are, are there in Thornton township. Okay. Because if they were there in Thornton Township, they would have told Mr. Gonzalez, don't you ever put her up there. They would have told her. They would have told him that. That would have been clear. That would have been evidently clear. So now she's getting into it with a whole new trustee board that is non-black accusing them of the same thing she's accusing the other folk for. And they the ones that made sure she got in the seat. Both of them, both groups. Jason House and Keanu Belcher made it very clear how they supported her and got her into the seat. Chris Gonzalez nominated, put his reputation, uh, in, in, you know, on the line to put her in the seat. Look at how she thanked him. So why are all these people having the same problems? And of course, here we go with the white is right thing. We do have racism in politics, global politics. Racism is there and it's huge. I'm in Africa, I could tell you racism is, is deep. It's the reason why Europe is developed and Africa is not as developed. Or the black communities in Chicago where the migrants is coming in ain't developed and the other people is developed. It runs deep, it's there. Is it here now? Nope, it ain't there. Cause now you wanna talk about black and brown, black and brown and those folks was the reasons why you got in to Dalton and Chris Gonzalez and we could, we could argue about this and that, but they nominated you and put you in Hispanics and whites helped you get in because he couldn't vote you in. They all voted you in, all right? So why are you trying to act like it's a racist thing when you're doing stuff like this with the money? But would you advise one of your candidates to do something like that using taxpayer funds? No, not using taxpayer funds. Okay, so if you've driven one of the expressways in the south suburbs recently, you've no doubt seen one of these giant billboards. They feature the name and the face of a smiling local politician. What you may not know is the money for these billboards is coming out of taxpayers' pockets, and that's raising questions for Tiffany Henyard, the Dalton mayor and Thornton Township supervisor who has already come under fire for spending public money promoting herself. Dane Placco has the latest chapter in his ongoing investigation into Henyard's questionable spending. Take a drive to the south suburbs and you can't miss them. Four giant billboards featuring Tiffany Henyard's name in large letters, along with her picture, smiling down on the thousands of cars going by on Interstate 57 and the Bishop Ford Expressway. What are they advertising? One says fresh produce, another senior services, and this one simply says we offer general assistance. 
There's a phone number, but you wouldn't know what it's for unless you can read in teeny tiny letters Thornton Township Supervisor as you're speeding by. That's right. That's you putting your posters all over Thornton Township, using the money. You talking about they're taking the money and spending the money in fraudulent. That's you doing it. I, I've never heard about Frank Zuccarelli doing things like that as a township supervisor, spending money and locking people out of their offices in Thornton Township like this. Yeah, Cassandra Elston has been the township assessor here in Thornton Township for the past 10 years. This morning, she got a call from her staff saying something weird was going on at the office, and we talked to her about what happened next. Take a look. This was your office? Yes. What happened when you tried to open it? It doesn't work. The lock got changed. Yes. That's you doing it. That is your ass. It ain't nobody else but you. That's you doing it. You need to get serious and get honest with yourself. Why are you doing it? Okay. So you need to get yourself together. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard Fire, you just heard a bell. We're out.